In this video, we will find the derivative of y is equal to x to the power 10x. So, in order to differentiate this function, we will take the natural log of both sides. So, we will apply ln on both sides. Now, we know that that ln a to the power n is equal to n times ln of a. So, if we have some power on this variable, then this power will become the coefficient. So, here we will apply this rule. So, we have 10x as a power of uh, x. So, we will multiply this 10x by ln. Or we can say that this 10x will become the coefficient of ln. Now, we have ln of y is equal to 10 of x multiplied by ln of x. Now, differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, we have d by dx of ln y is equal to d by dx of 10 x multiplied by ln x. Now, here we will apply product rule of differentiation which is d by dx of uv is equal to u times derivative of v plus v times derivative of u. Now, here we have 10x in place of this u and ln x in place of this v. So, we will put the values of u and v in this formula. And on this side of equation, uh, we cannot differentiate ln y with respect to x. So, we will apply chain rule. So, we will write d by dy of ln y then dy by dx. Now, we can differentiate ln y because we have dy as a differential over here. And here we will apply the product rule. So, we have 10x multiply by the derivative of ln x plus ln x multiply by the derivative of 10x. Now, the derivative of ln y is 1 upon y and the derivative of ln x is 1 upon x and the derivative of 10x is sec square x. So, the derivative dy by dx is equal to, now we will multiply both sides by y. So, we have dy by dx is equal to y times, this can be written as 10x upon x and this can be written as sec square x multiplied by ln x. Now, we will put the value of y which is x to the power 10x and this is the answer.